morning, morning. So we're here at Silverstone. We're doing a media day ahead of my free practice session. And the media day includes Blue Peter. <gasps> Finally, my chance to get a Blue Peter badge. I respect and realise that it was a, a special moment, pro probably for the history of Formula One, as a female hadn't driven on a Formula One weekend for over 22 years. I got so many nice messages of support over social media and, and through my website and that was really, really nice and I'm, I'm very thankful for all that support. Media for me is, is definitely just a part of the job. It's a way for me to communicate with all the people who are interested in Formula One and who are interested in, in my journey into Formula One. So that part of it, of course, I see as being very important, but for me, the best part of my job is getting in that car and driving and being on the race weekend and, and driving the car is the best part of the job. If I wasn't fit enough and strong enough, I simply couldn't drive that car. Especially at a high speed track like Silverstone where all the corners are medium to high speed. There's a lot of g-force coming through the body. So we'll do everything in here as we will do at the track. The simulator work is invaluable. You know, it, just, it gets you ready in a very, very good way. And there's so many different things to change on the steering wheel. So many procedures to remember. Well, obviously there was so much hype around me driving at Silverstone this weekend. It was a fantastic feeling to wake up this morning knowing that I was going to drive. Formula One car, one of the, for me, the best tracks, a really fast flowing track and I had done so much hard work and preparation and I felt completely ready. As soon as I got to the garage and, and put my helmet on and got in the car, I could really just block out everything else that was going on and, and I was so focused um, and so looking forward to just driving. I just wanted to drive and it was a fantastic feeling leaving the pits for the first time, going for the installation lap and I immediately had a pretty good feeling out on track so that part of it all was, was really, really nice. Unfortunately, before I'd even completed my second lap, I had an oil pressure warning on the dash and the engine then cut out and it was massively disappointing um, and in, in that first moment when the car stopped and the realization hit me that actually that was it I wasn't going to get started again that was the toughest moment um, because for me it haven't, hadn't even started and then suddenly it was all over but on the other side let's look at the positives I've got another chance in a week and a half at Hockenheim so I've already kind of forgotten Silverstone and I'm already <laughs> aiming, to, aiming for Hockenheim.